Imagine a world where you can design something on your computer and in a matter of hours, nay, in a matter of minutes, have that very same 3D object in your hand. Well, guess what? That world is here. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about 3D printing. There are many forms of 3D printing. I'll get into that later. But what I want to introduce now is the ever so popular problem of 3D printing. This problem, of course, is that in some cases, you can 3D print guns. Now, many of you may already be thinking, take away the 3D printers. But before you light your torches and get out your pitchforks, let me tell you about what happened and who designed the Liberator, which is a popular 3D printable gun design, and some amazing things about 3D printing. Now, many of you may be thinking, what is 3D printing? Well, there are many forms of 3D printing. Some of these forms include stereolithography, digital light processing, fused deposition modeling, selective laser melting, selective laser modeling, electronic beam melting, and laminated object manufacturing. I know, it's a mouthful. One of the most common types of 3D printers, and the one that I personally own, is called fused deposition modeling. This is the process of hard plastic, called filament, being fed through an extruder and he, uh, being fed through an extruder onto a heated build plate, building up an object. If you want to learn more about the different types of 3D printers, you can go to www.3dprintfromscratch.com and you should find out some information. Now, I personally just purchased a dual extruder 3D printer that is an FDM 3D printer called the FlashForge Creative Pro. Now you may be wondering, what did he mean by dual extrusion? This, mean, this simply just means that the 3D printer has two extruders on it instead of one. The extruder on a, an FDM 3D printer is one of the main parts. The extruder is the heated nozzle and the motor that pushes out and heats up the plastic. <laughs> heats up and pushes out the plastic, sorry. I use my 3D printer for home use and to drive my personal business. Now, back to the problem at hand. Some people with 3D printers create 3D objects on certain softwares like Simplify 3D that are dangerous. That brings us to the gun problem. Certain people with a great amount of skill have designed and can design guns. One of these people is named Cody Wilson. Cody was born in 1988 and is a guns right activist. He spent about a year working on a fully functional model of a gun. This model may not look functional, but I assure you it is. Then the U.S. State Department demanded that the file be taken down, and now the Liberator is off of all of the main 3D printing websites, and I'm sure that if the U.S. State Department finds it on any others, it will be taken down. So, what do we have here? We have a man who created a plastic gun, um, again, 3D printing, and the U.S. State Department who, let's just say, saved the day. So, you can light up your torches and get out your pitchforks and try to take away 3D printing, or you can join the revolution. And if you think that's crazy, let me give you some reasons why it's not. 3D printing can lower the cost and time of creating lids for the disabled. You can use 3D printing to test and create architecture. You can create complex prototypes, or you can just print some things that you found or designed at home. With 3D printing, your imagination is the limit. But don't go designing a weapon of mass destruction. The US State Department might just have to intervene. So it's your decision. Do you want to join the revolution or keep it from happening? Thank you.